Oh, look how red I am. I've just walked up about six, five, let's go five, because I've got a hand free. It's fine, loads of stairs, loads of flights of stairs, but I'm in a new place. I don't really do like hotel reviews or give you a show around any of the hotels I stay in now. I've been making sure I can keep into my budget when it comes to, to hotels and I've, I've uh, been actually finding some pretty good deals for 10, 15, 20 pounds a night um, all over Mexico so far. It was nice. The last one I stayed in was terrible. So I'm actually going to stay in Puerto Escondido a couple more days um, and I've upgraded myself a little bit. So this is what 60 pound a night gets you here. So it's a bit over my budget, but I've been well under budget so far. So after the last hotel that I was in, I thought I'd upgrade. So let me, uh, let me give you the tour. These are just some of the stairs I had to, to come up. So then you come in the front door, straight into the uh, outdoor seating area. I've got a dining table and chairs and a bench and another bench there. Got myself a little little kitchen area with a fridge and a sink and a, oh, a toilet here and then some more sort of patio area so that's the main seating area and then this is what I paid my money for everybody I am right on the beach Back to the seating area, so I'm going to be spending most of my time sat probably here because it's nice and windy, or here, or just looking out onto the beach. But then you got these little stairs here, and here we go two beds in here, lots of, uh, lots of desks and things. I'm going to spend on a sail somewhere again out this window. Lovely sea view of the Pacific ocean and then just through this bit is a uh, shower toilet and and sink but i mean 60 pound a night it's pretty good and as i said this is the reason why i paid it thought i'd give myself a nice bit of luxury down here all of these sort of places are little restaurants and bars coffee shops and things so i'm gonna go and have a little explore but welcome to uh puerto escondido Oh, I know the little hotel tour was uh, was earlier today when the sun was shining, but do you know what? I waited until sunset to come out and have some have some food. So I've just found a little place. I'm right on the beach again here. So I'm going to find something to eat, and then I'll show you what I've got. Um, well, it's very good so far. So, salut. A bit of uh, Elton John in the background, which is uh, coming out of some very shaky speakers. I know I've said this before, but one of the things we know back in the UK on most places when it comes to Mexican foods are things like burritos, enchiladas, and quesadillas. Well, I've gone for a quesadilla here. Uh, so I've gone for a quesadilla with chicken and cheese. So quesadilla de pollo con queso, uh, which comes with a little uh, ensalada and some rice, um, and a little pot of, well, I hope it's not ketchup, I hope it's, uh, mm, it might be ketchup, might be something spicy, but I'm just going to spin you round to show you what I've got, and just take in when I spin you round and show you what I've got, the background setting here, I'm literally... 20 meters from the Pacific Ocean here in Puerto Escondido. It's finding the right lighting and look at this. Got three little foldy quesadillas, bit of rice, ensalada, and uh, there's the miscellaneous sauce. Got my Corona. Then in the background here, that's the sea. Up there is the moon. Elton John playing. This is paradise still. Can't wait. Oh, Elton John again, but this guy's phone keeps getting dings. So if you hear a little ding, it's not my it's not my phone, it's the guy's phone who's playing the music through his phone. Um, 
actually have a bite just on its own. So inside of these quesadillas is chicken, cheese, onion, and tomato. And again, you know my stance on tomato here in Mexico. It is very good. I'm gonna try that a little bite on its own. I'm gonna try the potential ketchup afterwards. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. It's unbelievably good. Ding. I don't know how to describe the flavour. Most of us have had quesadillas at home. Oh man, the chicken is so like... Moist? I'm going to go with moist. Apologies to the ladies out there who hate the word moist. It's very moist and the cheese again. It's delicious. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Oh, it's green. It's green. It's not ketchup. It's salsa verde. My favourite of all the salsas. Salsa verde means green salsa. So it's, um, it's not so spicy. Yes. Yes. The salsa verde just takes it up another level. It was looking at me really weird for doing that. I feel like it is a... Uh, when Harry met Sally moment at Cat's Diner, is that what it is? But whoa, with the salsa verde, these enchiladas, it's gonna go again. Squirty squirt, and you can see on there, it's got the green salsa, green salsa, salsa verde, that's what green salsa is. I mean, come on. It's the best quesadilla I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm 25 years old. Ish. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna pop a bit of tomato in the next bite. Because again, you know, I love my tomato here in Mexico. Guys, I'm sat right on the Pacific. I don't know if you can hear the, the waves in the background. I'm on, my chair is in the sand, my table's in the sand. I'm on the Pacific, moonlit. Can I going to review the rice. I mean, I'm not a big rice eater. So, normally things come with rice, I eat a lot of Indian food, but I never go for rice. I always go for the bread. And I only eat the rice here because it comes with things sometimes. And there's something about the rice here. They cook it al dente, which is the best but the flavor I, let me try and describe it to you it's got a little touch of a uh, like a chipotle so if you're is that in my beard if you're down with your chilies and you know what's what chipotle you know is almost like a slightly smoky chili it's got a little undertone of heat about it, but it's not, it's not too spicy. The rice here has a little undertone of like spice, but it's not too hot. But it's not bland and it's not just boiled and salted. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. But I might try and find out, I might try and ask. 
watching the rice because the rice is delicious. But again, the whole meal, the quesadillas, the rice, the tomatoes, the salsa verde. Muy bueno. A bite here. I put the uh, tomato in from the little side ensalada and uh, a bit of onion. I love a bit of onion. Could eat a whole one raw, just like an apple. I put in some of the salsa verde. This is a bite. Get the onion in there of chicken, cheese, tomato, onion, salsa verde in a little tortilla wrap. Wow. Just wow. I don't know if it's the food itself and the setting and everything. Not the Spanish version of John Legend playing. The food's just amazing. The food is amazing. Mexico must be on everyone's list. If you're a food tourist, like I am, Mexico has to be on your list for this kind of reason. Ah, no gracias, senor. Ah, no gracias. Um, come to Mexico. Oh. Salud. Hola, so I'm here with Kevin. Kevin is my waiter for today. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable quesadillas and rice. Uh, this is it from today in Puerto Escondido. Kevin? Okay. Yes. Peace. Peace. Gracias. Hey. Excellent. Gracias. Sí.